if I and if I had much that energy, oh my god, like you know when you ah oh god, ah oh man, damn it. It looks like she won. Hey, but it's not important, you know what? If she feels like she won. My people keep <laughs> telling me. My people keep telling me, leave her. She's a woman. Leave her. She's a woman. I'm like okay. Because me, I don't care woman or man. I will give you everything if, if I really put my mind on somebody. How I actually, hey, I will not like this babe oh, normally. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see, I'm happy. Oh. To be honest, I know it's painful and it's hard to be that one to walk away. <laughs> Still on the Guinness task, that task had really, you know, created a lot of animosity amongst these housemates. As I told you all in my previous video, um, like a chain reaction. There had been one altercation to the other, one altercation to the other, and I've shared details of most of those arguments that happened yesterday. Now, um, outstanding arguments that I'm yet to mention is the one between um, Alex and Mercy with um, Prince inserting himself in the whole equation and Mercy choosing not to really, you know, give highlighting quote to Alex. And then there was the one between Omashala she and then there was also lucy involved but besides those ones which i will talk about on this video there was um the conversation between cc and ek late last night yes they were actually talking about cc's earlier altercation with angel and cc had a lot to say we know that cc talks a lot yes so she had a lot to say and i'll be spilling the details of that conversation as well on this video so please make sure you watch till the end all right and um do not skip if you skip you will miss out on vital parts of this video so don't skip watch till the end and um for those of you that are new here thank you so much for choosing to become a part of this community you are especially welcome warm hugs for you and then for those of you that have been here for a while or maybe you're new as well and um you are yet to subscribe to this channel please go ahead and do so i keep telling you guys to do this because um you'll be able to turn on post notifications as well to always receive a lot of my videos whenever i upload a new one a lot of you come onto me on different social media platforms telling me your glory um upload videos glory i've not seen your videos i upload multiple videos here every day so just subscribe so that you'll be able to receive a lot of those videos okay and special greetings to all of you you are welcome to my youtube channel my name is gloria elijah this is frankly speaking with gloria elijah and i am the girl with the t quick announcement to every single one of you today by 7 p.m wat we're going to be meeting here for our community gathering our community conversation as usual so please make it a date with us i look forward to seeing every single one of you amazing human and um, there's a lot to talk about today guys and trust me i need to hear your thoughts about the topics of today i will not reveal what it is now just come and you'll find out okay anyways all of that said please don't forget to like this video feel free free to share as well now quickly let's proceed into the details of this conversation guys it still boils down to the guinness task and by the ways i don't know if i mentioned on my previous videos but um the winning team was doing's team there um there was doing angel cc um kimopra shei pere I can't remember who else was on that team, but those are the people that actually won. Oh, Adekunle was also a part of that team. So they won and Big Brother presented them with gold medals and a cup, like a world cup, yes. So congratulations to them, yes. Congratulations to all of them. Now, it was all about that Guinness task. And this was prior to Big Brother announcing the winning team, yes. So Alex was still flexing her muscle everywhere she was still flexing her power and um according to the way prince had explained it because what we saw was just the outburst yes but later on prince had actually taken out time to explain to both pere and other people in the house that were asking about you know the root cause of that um altercation between um alex and mercy prince had explained that it was his team members that you know were sort of arguing and then alex had sort of tried to shut them up you know saying that why are they arguing about it all that it's supposed to be love and light they are supposed to be having fun you know so why are they having argument over what had actually happened in the arena now from the way she was saying it that it felt like she was actually attacking 
the other group. This is what Prince is explaining. And that was where Mercy caught it. And even Doreen and Angel said that, no, that the way Alex had said what she had said made it look like she was actually referring to their own team and not Alex's team. Now, according to Prince, Alex was not referring to the winning team. She was actually referring to her own team. And that was where Mercy had caught it. Because guys, the, the, the cheating in the arena was quite a lot. And it sort of made the winning team at that point in time very, very sensitive to conversations about the game that had just happened. So Mercy caught that vibe and she had picked up on it. And you know, that was how she and Alex, you know, went at each other. Now, Mercy was so upset. And we know that Mercy has been saying that she doesn't want to give highlight to anybody. So she was so upset that she had left them downstairs and gone upstairs to stay in the head of house lounge. Now, Alex was really spoiling for a fight or for that altercation because she kept on talking and talking and then... Prince and somebody else was trying to restrain her from standing by the staircase to speak because she was almost going to stand at the staircase to talk. And she kept on saying that, no, she wants to express herself. She wants to express herself. And she kept on going on and on about, oh, uh, can't they just have fun with the game? That anybody that wins at the end of the night, it's fine. Anybody that loses, it's fine. Guys, from the way she was even sounding at that point in time, she was so confident that her team was going to win. But then lo and behold, <laughs> Guys, life is a bitch. <laughs> Lo and behold, when Biggie announced the winner, Alex went mute. <laughs> the look on her face, guys, oh my God. But that's not the crux of the matter here. That was exactly what had happened between um, Alex and Mercy. And for the Omashala and Cheese issue, guys, <laughs> It wasn't really that deep, frankly speaking. These people, not even these people, I think Omashala himself was just really making a mountain out of a molehill. It was over the bowl that she likes using to eat. Omashala wanted it. She was not ready to give. Lucy felt like Omashala should have just let it go and used any other plate in the house. But then Omashala had gotten really irritated over it and had gone on the one off. You know, he just kept on talking, not necessarily shouting in the typical Omashala's, um, Omashala's fashion. Because if Omashala wanted to shout, he would literally bring down the house. But he just kept on going on and on talking about it. And then Lucy stepped in, was attacking Omashala over chicken. I mean, from all what she was saying, it seemed like or Marshala had actually used more chicken than he needed to prepare his dinner and that had not sat well with her at all. Anyways, um, Marshala later on had gone to the garden to go and apologize to Shay. They had sh um, shook their hands and they had hugged it out and um, he had explained that for real. Shay did not really upset him, that he was just having a lot of things in his head and was reacting to whatever was going on in his head. And then they had encouraged him to go and make peace with Lucy. He said he doesn't have any issues with Lucy, that both of them were just talking. I said, okay, fine. We will see how that pans out because we know Lucy. If Omashala does not make peace with her, she's going to interpret that as, you know, both of them becoming automatic rivals in the house. Now, moving on to the conversation between Cece and EK. Cece was still maintaining her stance about the fact that she did not do anything wrong to Angel to warrant Angel's sudden attack on her in the garden during their rehearsal for the Guinness task. Now, I've already done a video explaining exactly what transpired between these two people. So if you missed out on that video, please go ahead and check it out. But going back to what Sissy was saying, she was just basically ranting in, tip, um, in a typical fashion. She was ranting, saying a lot of things, making a lot of threats. I mean, just basically threatening thunder and brimstone on Angel. You know, if she changed her mind, this is what she's going to do. She's going to give Angel basketballs. She's going to deal with Angel, blah, blah, blah. She had gone ahead to explain that for every time Angel found herself in a dark place in the house, like, you know, more like having one of her mood swings, she was always that one person that would go check on Angel, that would give her a hug, you know, that would encourage her and tell her to, you know, step out of that mood and, you know, come into the light, you know, be in a good place, have fun with everything happening in the house. But then she was really disappointed that last night during their rehearsal, when she had complained of having low energy, Angel had taken it upon herself to attack her. That she wasn't even saying anything, no. She wasn't even attacking Angel, no, blah, 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 blah. Guys, Sissy went on and on and on. And guys, for me, I don't even know. These housemates are really exhausting. For me, I felt like Sissy, all day, 
you've been talking, 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 blah, 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 talking, conspiring, even gossiping sometimes with your friend, E.K. I mean, guys, when you hear Sissy talk, sometimes you wonder if she doesn't have full stop when she talks. She's like a running tap. All that time, she did not complain about low energy. But it was when they were preparing for their task that all of a sudden she had low energy. She's not complaining about low energy since, but it was when they had gone ahead, like they had gone really far in their rehearsals and she was supposed to play the role of one of the cheerleaders that she started complaining of low energy. I mean, what exactly was she expecting? A task that's meant for all of them? A task in which if the group wins now, the money, the reward goes to all of them and not just one person, not to Angel, not to Doing. But guys, Sissy just decided to misbehave and then she was complaining to Ike. Guys, yeah, I listened to all of Sissy's rant and frankly speaking, none of them made sense to me at all. For me, it all still boils down to her and Ike's plans, you know, to play the game. Because every time they conspire, every time they talk about the crazy things they want to do in the house, every time they talk about people that they are targeting in the house, Sissy always ends it all by saying, oh, it's a game. Let's play the game. Let's play the game. I'm like, okay, fine. Sissy, you alone do not have the monopoly of madness in that house. You alone do not have the monopoly of playing such dirty games in that house. If you try to sabotage a task for all and people come at you, then you should be able to take the heat. I mean, what was, guys, what exactly was Sissy thinking? That, oh, you plan to sabotage task. You plan to sabotage the head of house reign. You, you plan to sabotage a lot of people's game in the house. And so they should sit down, fold their arms and look at you. Like, guys, does it really make sense at all? Anyways, I feel like I've really said a lot on this video. I would love to hear from all of you. So please go ahead, share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.